So you want to know how to trigger a German? Really? That's the video you clicked on? Okay, you're either procrastinating or you're desperate. Let's get into it. First, you can always say something bad about bread. Just we're incredibly proud of our bread baking culture, even though most small bakeries nowadays are just big chains and they kind of suck. And I actually bake my own bread because I think that I suck so much, I don't want to feed that crap to my kid. But I mean, you can, if you live in Munich, you could say something bad about Hofwisterei. They are like an eco-friendly bakery and they're actually pretty good. And before I made my own bread, I got all my bread from there, but it's rather expensive. You could complain about how expensive they are and that it's not really that good or that it goes dry really fast. And then you say something how uh, French baguette is so much better and why Germans don't like um, American American sandwich toast or something if you're American yeah you could do that oh and then if you want to trigger the sustainable justice warriors you could say oh like I don't get why you always wrap this bread in paper it dries out so fast and I mean in America we have it in plastic bags and that's just so much more practical that's the one then the next thing we're super fond of are stupid German cars oh yeah they rust away so fast and if you want to pick up on that you could just say something like I think those BMWs, they tend to get rusty pretty fast, right? Isn't that the problem that you guys have with those cars? And why are they so expensive, you know? And then you could go on and say like, isn't it that like 60% or more of German highways have like a tempo limit? Don't they have a speed limit anyway? So why do you need such a fast car? Like way you want to drive it and then you go on and say like how amazing Japanese cars are and that they're long lasting and so safe and that everyone who basically wants to put their money on it should get a Japanese car and not a German car I actually drive a 20 year old Honda. Oh, this one is a good one. German engineering. We're so proud of our engineering culture and our engineers, especially in the automotive industry. So if you say anything nasty about German engineers, even if it's just something that is totally true, like that we don't pay them that much, like, we could pay them more. And I've worked with a bunch of engineers in my life and I truly think that German engineering is really at a very high level and very awesome. But I've also met Swedish engineers and <laughs> I'm not gonna say much more, but if you wanna trigger a German, say something nasty about German engineers. And it's even quite possible that some person in their friend circle or family is an engineer and then they will just come to their friends defense and jump on your neck and bite you. Holy crap, this list is long. The next one would be to explain kindly to German that outdoor clothing is actually for the outdoors and not for sitting in your SUV or an office building or just doing your grocery shopping. Like it's waterproof and windproof and it looks like you're Sporty. It looks weird when you're not. When you're in like your mid 40s to 60s and you're like an elderly chubby man or an elderly chubby woman and you're just wearing this stuff day in and day out like a normal coat. Just get a damn coat, okay? You could say that and they're triggered. But the ultimate thing that we are so proud of, even though we are doing actually a pretty good job messing it up right now, closing a lot of the facilities that we need for it to work, underpaying the workers that actually hold up this system of exploitation. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's the German healthcare system. It's a very good system, unless you get some nasty staph infection, of course, well, then you're just screwed. But unless you, do, you don't get anything and nothing goes wrong, I've, I personally worked as a nurse in a hospital and I was always amazed how so many people survive. But I mean, in general, I think other countries in Europe have worse healthcare systems, I guess. I've been in rem remote areas of France and I'm sorry, but yeah, no. But if you're an American, for instance, you could go on how liberal the American healthcare system, if you want to call it that, is and how restrictive and common communist like the German welfare state is and how that is taking a lot of money from their citizens, even the ones that are never sick and don't really want to support others getting healthy, getting treatment and paying for other people's treatment and how that is totally not liberal and you don't get 
why so much money is wasted in that. If you want to trigger a German, just say that kind of thing and you will strike up big fight. And then you could go on about how much taxes we pay and how annoying and stupid that is and what we use these taxes for anyway. And now a practical tip if you want to trigger and piss off people in general, like um, on a daily basis, if you go grocery shopping or just any shopping, just skip in line. Or if there are people who are obviously like heading towards the exit where the registers are, you know, and they want to put their food on this band and stuff, just like hurry that you can slip in right before them, empty your shopping bag, which is like your weekly shopping list, like this huge pile of things that you got just for the whole week, put it on the band before them and then forget the separator. Because for some weird reason, people here are expecting that you put in the separator after your stuff. Like, I think that's totally stupid, but the looks, the looks I've gotten from people that were like, but you're in front of there and you can totally go to the thing and just, you know, doesn't hurt you to do that. And I like, no, it doesn't, but it doesn't hurt you either. And you just came behind me and want to put your stuff on the band. So if you don't trust me enough and you think I'm accidentally gonna pay for some of your stuff, then either just leave a little space or get the damn thing yourself. I think that's definitely triggering to some Karens. And by the way, I think we're in desperate need for a German word for Karen. And it's not Karen. I think Anke could be really cool. Outdoor Anke and Outdoor Thorsten, maybe? And then imagine them in their beige outdoor gear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one. I wish I could just show you the inside of my brain, not just because I'm a nerd, but because I can so perfectly imagine this couple of middle-aged folks having a problem with basically everything in life. Anyway, I think that's it, you guys. And if you still haven't had enough, maybe you can make a joke about how our constitution is called Grundgesetz, which means basic law and not really constitution and how stupid that sounds. And then you ask why we have a president when we have a chancellor already and the president isn't really doing shit. So yep, you can top it off with that one.